Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 and my party of four. Despite everything. As we uh, descend into this temple. Uh, I mean, technically, we're already inside of the defiled temple of Saloon, but we're going to descend the ladder and see what's down at the bottom. We're looking for the night song. Oh, my God. Welcome to Marcus Every Star. Can we get a round of applause? That's incredible. That's beautiful. Wow. Don't slip. Um, in the last episode, we you somehow know about these parasites. Will we survive them? Only if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. We uh we somehow turned another situation into a fight. Once again, this is my way of doing things. Uh, but these eyes in the background, wow. I love the art of this. This is very cool. That's okay. We're pressing forward. I'm a bard who's bad at barding. I keep turning everything into fights. No one back home will ever uh, believe this. This is a great opportunity, potentially, for us to, to talk with the... Uh, people of our party who I haven't really had a chance to talk with recently. Um, let's go around the horn. Do a little chat. The infamous Underdark. Don't worry of the dangers you can see. Worry of the dangers you can't. This is the Underdark, technically? Wait for me, it can't. I'm a I've little bit... I've spotted some rather interesting murals, I must say. They just reminded me of something half forgotten it seemed to depict lady shah's warriors in combat i hadn't known they were active in these parts i'm a little bit uh not particularly like i have some D, &D knowledge obviously but but this realm and the like gods and stuff i'm really bad at um i'm also like not particularly knowledgeable at all about like the different regions and like races uh, uh, associated with it. Underdark? No idea. Um, only what I've heard in this game so far. Uh, so we're talking about the Grove? The, the Druid Grove? Picted Lady Shars Warriors in combat. I hadn't done they were active in these parts. Um, Shars Warriors? You know me. I'm not usually one to elaborate if I can avoid it. I do they know that. They like Dark Justicias, an elite force among Lady Shah's ranks. Only the very finest proved themselves worthy of the title. Okay. You aspire to join them? What right-minded servant of Lady Shah wouldn't? But it's a distant dream. The Dark Justicias have been silent for years. Curious to see them depicted in such a place. Perhaps there's more to it, but there's nothing to be done about it just now. I'm liking this uh, this music. Um. Okay, we yeah, me and uh, Shadowheart and I are having a whole ass conversation. Artifact seems to be protecting us. Do you still have it? Why were you in pain? Oh, number four. Number four, my lord. Pick, num pick number four. Uh, why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow can feel her influence. I have a thing like that going on in my brain. I feel like I can't flirt with Shadowheart right now because I'm not myself, you know? What causes it to hurt you? I'm not going to question her, uh, her god. It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those Perhaps it's completely random. You're looking for a meaning there and there might not be any? I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, 
All I can do is endure. What is, what if, what if, what if there is no meaning to it? Uh, how would that make you feel about Lady Shar? Is there anything I can do to help? I don't think so, but you're sweet to ask. Maybe just be patient the next time you see me wince or cry out. It'll pass quickly enough. It always does. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning. Oh my god, I actually love you. Oh. I love that personally. I am personally touched by that. It's like a, uh, it's like a, it's, no, not to get too deep here, but like, it's a, it's a, that's a refraction of, like, it's not the exact copy of, but it's a refraction of a slightly mutated version of, uh, sort of how I feel, generally. It's not even really a refraction, it's mostly how I feel. I'll ask about the artifact, but I don't think she'll like it. Quite the understatement, but yes, I have it. And I'll guard it with my life. Curious that you just happen to have this item that can protect us. How did you come by it? And yet you don't know what it is. That doesn't add up. It's called faith. Duty doesn't have to add up to me as long as I serve. I'm part of a bigger plan. Oh, One buddy. One will be revealed in time. The writers of Larian, of Larian Studios <clears throat> lay their hands to the keyboard of my life and press all of the right buttons with Shadowheart. All of the right keys. It's the religious upbringing for me. It's the peace through pain, through loss, through void for me. It's the, oh, suffering, uh, suffering quietly for me. Oh my God. Listen. <laughs> I am enjoying this conversation. It's making me actually think. One that will be revealed in time. How can you go through all this trouble and not understand why? Spoken like a pawn, they tend to get sacrificed. Admirable conviction, though I think I'd prefer to know what I was getting myself into. That's not a luxury open to many people, us included. I have my faith to turn to instead. You should find something of she your She raises own. an, oh, excellent repost. Shadowheart. I prefer to put my faith. I don't. I don't remember exactly what the line was. Uh, I have. I prefer to know what I'm getting myself into. Yeah, you don't always have that luxury. Did you know what you were getting into when you dived into this temple? Find something to put your faith in. How can you go to all this trouble and not understand why? I told you already. I surrendered my memories for the sake of the mission. Shah's secrets must be protected. Duty demands it. Once I fulfill my mission, I can have my memories restored. I love you, Shadowheart. All right. Um, let's keep chat. I mean, this is a chatty episode. Let's. I know we just hopped into an incredible place, but we're chatting. Char I'm sure you do, but please try to understand that it's not something I can just talk about freely. Her companions are dead. I know that much. Um, I don't know much about Char. I, I know her companions are dead because of my notebook. I'm going to bring the notebook out. I don't know that much about Char, I don't think. 
should trust me we're in the same boat. I have no problems with Shar worshippers if that's what concerns you. Give me guidance? <laughs> I am not going to uh, cast friends because I'd like to think that we're friends and also I don't need it. Oh shit, I rolled well. I rolled really well. I rolled like a, what, a 15? Very well. Perhaps there's potential in you. Let's see how you handle this. I am indeed a disciple of Shah. Mistress. Mistress of the night and lady of loss. I assume you've heard of her. Is this about grief? Lady of loss? Patron saint of grievers? Widows? Your faith is your own concern. I won't judge. Um, remind me. My lady Shah is the night singer. The patron of darkness and loss. God, you're so goth and I love it. Oh. Uh. Most fear the dark, like children, because in darkness they see their fears reflected. Shadow Heart. But Shah teaches us to step beyond fear. Are you about to become beyond my bag? Loss. In darkness, we do not hide. Fear is the we mind act. killer. Pain, God damn. Hope. The promise of better days. All of these are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. The writing. We shed those cloaks. Before Shah, we stand gloriously naked. I have Beyond chills. The vanities of mortals. Oh, I have actual chills. That's so good. Give me that immediately. Again. These are heavy cloaks that bend our backs and burden our hearts. We shed those cloaks. Oh my God. I love it. It's both sides of the coin, both pain and hope. The promise of better days. All of these. Wow. Ooh. There's comfort, yes. But often there has to be pain beforehand. We tear down the lies the world is drunk on. The institutions they trust, the so-called gods they worship, the lives they cling to. We destroy false idols, topple corrupt organizations, fight heretics wherever they're found. This is every... There's often suffering, death even. Many people break before they embrace Shah's truths. This is every freshman philosophy student at the end of their first semester. I'm about to topple some institutions. About to crumble some some truths. Let's do this. And we've seen the darker side here. We have seen the darker side here. I won't cast judgment on your beliefs. I'm curious. Most are afraid of my lady. I think I she did knows well what the reaction joining. is. Most agreeable company. She knows what the normal reaction is. Shadowheart, I literally, I cannot. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? I cannot, in good conscience, ask you. Never mind. Let's keep talking about Shar. <laughs> I cannot, in, in good conscience, ask you about yourself while I look like this. Uh, would you read a Shar? She took me in when no one else would. Without her, I wouldn't be alive. She's my mother. She nurtures me, cares for me, loves me. Don't believe the lies the Salunites tell. Okay. I thought that was going to be... I would have saved that for last if I'd have known that was going to be so incredible. My goodness. I wanted to talk to Asterian about getting bit. Um, that was my plan. But God damn. You know... For all the time I've spent lurking in the shadows, I've never ventured into the Underdark before. Hardly a luxurious setting, but it definitely has its upsides for a vampire. I'm gonna start my Asterian its notes here. Undersides, because it's, well, you know what I mean. I haven't actually uh, started any Asterian notes before this very moment. Um, How did, uh, uh, so, well, I mean, let's, I mean, let's tackle the first one first. I've already apologized. What more do you want? Unless you're looking for another nibble. Unless, what if our, we set our Minecraft beds side by side? 
Just kidding. <laughs> Unless. <clears throat> I need to know how we're going to feed you in the future. No innocence. You have my word. Only villains that we need to kill anyway. After all, you know what I am now. I can fight with all my weapons. Teeth included. And if I happen to drain the occasional bandit during a fight, what's the harm? They're just as dead. Oh, you don't have to convince me. That's for goddamn sure. You said only villains. Only feeds on villains. I'm going to write that down so that I can hold him to it. And then uh, right after he holds me to the, I mean, or uh, up against, I, um, sorry, where were we? Uh, okay. Um, I'll be watching. <laughs> Sounds good. No, you can't feed on people. Um, I'm not against you feeding on me, but only if we talk about it first. Leave me, th leave me this option, please. Of course. That sounds eminently reasonable. It's a I consent shall thing. Patiently until you suggest we dine together. But until then, no more late night surprises. You have my work on that. That's, that's all I ask. Shit, I just clicked the button. Um, I thought I selected a dialogue option. Uh, how does someone become a... You can feed on me tonight if you'd like. <laughs> Holy, okay. How does someone become a vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. They're obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Mm. Once you've done that, okay. you're free. And a true vampire. I feel like this playthrough needs a, like... I, I feel like I need, like, an old fan. One of the ones that, like, rotates out that I can just fan myself. Like, whoo! Sometimes. The things the Therian says. The existential shit uh, Shadowheart says. Whoo! They bite you, you bite them. What do you mean in theory? Why? People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. I actually so why don't would any know. I give up control over a spawn to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. Interesting. Um, I actually don't know how vampires work in D and D. It's not a. Th it's not a thing I've ever. I'm not. In my time playing D and D, in my time listening or watching to D and D, I also watch a lot of Dimension Twenty. I listen to not another D and D podcast, some other stuff. Um, there's there's a Nad Pod. There's a not another D and D podcast uh, vampire section, but I don't know if they were playing by D and D rules. And I also don't know if vampires are are D and D, uh, or if that's added stuff. interesting tell me about your history why do you insist on exhuming the past <laughs> exhuming I was it a slave great word choice a vampire spawn kept by the czar family Perhaps you found a way have. no i was never able to resist their commands but now i've been conveniently lost they won't ever control me again oh Oh. So what family was that? Let me write that down. The uh, Sar family. Let me write down. How did he get free? All right. We've caught up with the party. Ooh, buddy. Good stuff. Now, oh, here we are. Now, what is this? Let's finally get to the goods here and uh, explore around a little bit. Wheelbarrow. Burlap sack. A torch. Oh my god. Holy shit.
Is this thing enormous? Holy cow, it's enormous. What? Oh, we're never getting Halston out of here. Wait, wait, was Halston supposed to be... <laughs> wait a second, was Halston supposed to be in here? Oh, Lord. RIP to that druid grove. All right, um... So what do we think about traps here? Many? Have to keep going. This is unlocked. The wooden crate here. Use the brazier. You gotta turn. You gotta. You gotta light that stuff up. Use the brazier. There's the thing here again. Great. Okay, that door was unlocked. All right. What now? Hmm. Gilded chest over here. So this is where you gotta. Crack that open. This is where you gotta do a little bit of a risk. It's not much of a risk when we have plenty of thieves' tools. I think I think we have plenty. And you have guidance. Oh. Oh, we did it. I thought I'd have to roll really well on the D4, and I did, but use these tools. All right, so how many of those do we have left? I don't know. I'll find it another time. Oh, it's also freaking lo Son of a bitch. Better be something good. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just, uh, my bad. I hit the wrong button. Try it again, try it again. DC 15, so it's a little bit easier. Yikes. Uh, I can't, I can't remember how much inspiration you're allowed to have. I think it might be up to like three. Oh my God, we made it. But I'm not going to use it just yet. I'm going to keep using a... Uh... What do we get there? I'm going to keep using Thieves Tools instead. A Helmet of Smiting. Oh my god. When you apply a condition with one of your smite spells, you gain temporary hit points equal to your charisma modifier. Well, damn. That'd be excellent for a paladin, but I'm not a paladin. Could sell that. Shit. Nope, wrong way. Um, this way, this way. Uh, very quickly. All right. Um, what's down here? Oh, pretty trap. Who are you? My, my, what manner of place is this? A path to redemption? Or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. I don't know how to feel about you, friend. Am I talking to the mouse or the cat? I'm obviously not the cat, uh, which would probably make me the mouse. Neither. The fox. There was a line about out fox. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Yeah, you've been anything but silent. Of course. 
what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more... Let's call it... Refinement. This... Quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere. What are you? For my taste. Who are you? Come. Come here. The fuck? Just me or everyone? All of us. Okay. There. Middle of somewhere. What the fuck? What is going on? Well, I know who the thumbnail of this episode is. It's Raphael, 100%. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed what lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. What is hanging on the mantle? What what painting is that? It looked like a vampire. Am I starting to think potentially vampire vibes here? What makes you say that? Call it a ninth sense. Ninth? Vampire. What are you? What are you a demon? Devil? What the fuck are you? <laughs> What's better than a devil you don't know? Devil you do? A devil, a devil you do. Am I a Holy friend? shit! Potentially. An adversary. Conceivably. But a savior. That's, That's for certain. certain. Oh. Holy cow. <sighs> but let me grab my fiddle real quick. All right, um, why would you help me? What is your deal? What do you need? What do you want? And what will it cost me? Exactly, I don't care what you are. I care what you want. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but- What is the worth? Let me venture an answer. Of one life. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One the voice skull, is so good. Two tenants and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. RIP to the version of this scene that could have happened if I didn't look like a fucking gnome. Imagine this whole thing. Am I a gnome? I don't remember. Imagine this whole scene with actual Marcus. You're mad if you think I'll make a deal with the devil? Fix it or die at my hand. I need to think this over. Take all the time you need, but make up your mind before you're counting down with tentacles. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust oh. every possibility until none. The are wit left. on this character. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair. That's when you'll come knocking on my door. Oh, combined with the voice hope. acting. <laughs> Such a tease. The low register, like, um, the like. There's a word for this. I think it's like the near, like vocal fry almost. The like, ooh, uh, the, the like clicking. Such a T. Oh. You gotta be so careful what you say in these situations. How do I find you if I want to deal? I'll be around. Watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice, juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. I am lucky. I just took the luck feat. 
Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Did that just happen to you guys too? Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. No matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? He, I think he's our last. I think he's our. I think he's our last. Our our last option. Probably. Period. Oh, Megan's calling me. One second. Hey, babe, how's it going? Hi, it's going. I am uh, currently recording Baldur's Gate three. I just uh, a devil is here trying to make a deal with me. What do you think I should do? Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Is. Yeah, a devil's trying to make a deal with me. I don't think you should take the deal. I also don't want to take the deal, but he's like really convincing. Well, I it, it seems like it's going to be one of those tricky like fey bullshit deals. Mm, fey you bullshit. Think you're going to get a good deal and then you're not. So I'm going to be honest with you, it does not seem like a good deal. He seems mean, he seems scary, and I think he's probably my last like my last option. Like if nothing else works, we'll take a deal, but So don't don't take the deal. It's the the, 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 the cost is the problem. He wants my soul. Don't make a deal for your soul. Uh, I mean, okay, if you say not to. Okay. Oh my god. Protect your soul at all costs. Okay, thank you. I will do that. Okay, I guess I'll see you when I get home. You're coming home from work. All right. I'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, love you. Uh, probably another twenty minutes or so. Okay, see you soon. I started pretty late. All right, thanks. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, from there's there's the wisdom from Megan herself. Uh, our soul is too great a price to pay. Laezel and Shadowheart both approved when I said, give me time to think about it. I don't know if they approved of me being like, nah, or they approved of me being like, maybe. No doubts at all. He seemed powerful and very knowledgeable about our problem. Not the worst prospect we've stumbled across. As long as you can look past what he is. I mean, our prospects are wyvern poison to the brain. If Yankee blade to our throat. Gut ripping it out of my head for him and i don't know that i like this option any better i'm not gonna just change my mind we can't trust Raphael enough about me what do you think's best i'll tell you in due course i just wanted to see how close we are in thinking first of all uh-huh thank your sweet time then cool 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 i hate that i can't just leave i have to pick another option here Change my mind, perhaps we should trust. I'll admit, I'm feeling less sure. I mean, I don't feel my, my instinct is not to trust, but I'm not I'm not committed to the idea. I've made you doubt yourself. Sorry. Not you have I that intended. power over me, Shadow. Let's take time to think about it. Some food and rest. Things will be clear then. I'm nervous because uh, this is crazy, but this game is so dynamic. It'll literally rip you from the Underdark Temple of Saloon to Raphael's home, which was crazy. I kind of wish I could have walked around there. The game is so dynamic that I'm nervous if I don't put my foot down here, one of the other party members might make a deal. I don't even know if that's possible, but like... Um... It's interesting. Shadowheart's like a little cagey. I'm not gonna tell you. Let's let's delay it for a little bit. Hmm. Or is it? Suddenly, I'm not so sure. Isn't it terrible when someone causes you to doubt yourself? Yes, it is. You're making me feel terrible. Is this a trust thing? Shadowheart, baby, talk to me. This is listen. We have to trust you, trust each other here. It's 
not that he's a devil. It's that my soul is too, too high a cost. I'm not about to do this shit. This is a, this is a, uh, they're tempt, they're tempting me. They're tempting me with this option, but this is an option that, uh, that breaks down all trust moving forward. Good. You got there eventually. He's clever. My order uses the same tactic when dealing with enemies of Shah. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. God damn. I cannot believe that this conversation is happening. A very short introduction of a devil character and an offer, and then a deep conversation with Shadowheart. Including multiple, like, I've been, I've been, my expectations have been subverted like twice here. She's reserving judgment, which makes me waffle one way or the other. And then when I'm like, all right, I'm done waffling and I put my foot down, she's like, good. And then we get a, a deeper, a, a deeper piece here. I thought we were just tabling the conversation for another time. Let's get food and drink in us. Didn't realize you were so well versed in mental and emotional torment. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. God, there's more to you than I would have guessed. What the fuck? This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am <laughs> Kithrak, I what will a take line. my queen Vlacketh his head as a trophy. Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. You always have the same opinion, uh, 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 Le'ezel. Um... What is Kithrak mean? Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlacketh's will. Vlacketh bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. Laezel will do anything for her queen's favor. It's like that terrible, it's like that like oversimplistic meme uh, that gets, you know those like emotional, they're like emotional literacy memes that get shared a little bit that I see happening a lot. It's like people of a certain age, maybe when they turn like 30, <laughs> life starts to happen to them. And then there's these like memes that they see online or these images that they see online that like really speak to them. It's like that image, that meme, which has some truth to it, but which is also oversimplified, whatever. But like, it's like that image. When people tell you who they really are, comma, listen. Laezel will earn her queen's favor, conquer every layer of hell to do it. Why were the knights chasing the mind flare ship? That's an area where her interest and mine might go very different directions. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase, to penetrate the Hells. This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. You would never question I the wisdom of your queen. Horizon. Black is sight pierces the many planes. God, that's good right. This is the episode where the writing has come, has come full, full, has hit me fully. God, it's good. Uh, now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure he'll fight with you. And yeah. he might be right. We've had no luck so far. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Speaking of cliches. We still have options. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. Yes, with this dude. My old master liked to toy with people too. Let them think there was hope right until the end. Until he snatched it away. 
creatures the like them don't play games unless they know they can win. What do we do? We keep hunting for answers. What other choice do we have? This is no ordinary mind flare parasite. Who tampered with it and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we Good find question. those answers, we might have a chance. Shit, wait, hold up. Let me write those th let me write those down real quick. Hold up. Why are we so important? Question mark. Also, who altered these parasites? And to what end? Okay, holy shit. I like it how I've, I, it's, <laughs> we're 41 minutes into this episode, nearly done, and we've moved from there to here. Jesus Christ, I've played so little anything here, but I'll tell you what. No regrets because uh, I've learned plenty. I'll take, I'll take this scroll of Ray of Sickness. Can I undo my disguise? Let's become Marcus again. Can I just play some music? Wait, I dispels this guy. Wait, wait, sorry. I have to click it. There we are. Broad-shouldered Marcus. All right. Come over here in front of this big old thing of light. Nothing? The lever here. Pick up this great sword. Pick up this helmet. Come up here real quick. Oh, there's an even bigger ladder. Ooh, there's interesting light. Oh my god, what are you? What the fuck? <gasps> Minotaur? Level four and it's dying. These things are shooting at it. What the fuck? Skeleton at all? Hey, a cell unite key. Holy cow. Tattered notes. Uh, let's read these. This place is dark, but the lady's light shines yet. Just as the drow had almost broken through, Jarus rallied the last of the initiates must, and charged for it. So much as a hungry look, and I'll drive a stake through your heart. Mm. I do so very like spicy food. Sorry, my dogs are barking now that Megan's actually home. Jarus rallied for the last of the initiates and charged forth. For a moment, the cavern shone with Saloon's own brilliance. I'll, I'd have gladly gone with him, wound or no, but Jarus bade me stay and hold the gate until his return. I aim to keep the records, too. I'll save space to write of his victory. It's been days, hours, since we collapsed the tunnel. They were supposed to return after the battle. I cannot dig it out on my own. My eyes won't get used to this darkness, but I can hear them stripping the dead. I'm sorry, I haven't learned the death rites yet, but I will hold the gate, I promise. Final entry is barely visible. This is sorry. Though they have initiates to the Temple of Saloon, route like throwing waves against the, uh, against the dark here. Hold the gate. What are you holding the gate from, really? I mean, it sounds like minotaurs. 
ancient sigil circle. Little waypoint action. Faded log book. Uh, log 182. I was wrong. Should have paid more attention to the drow sightings. Should have known they were only a prelude. Stupid to think we had outsmarted them. This will be my last entry. Mint will keep the records from now on. What exactly is a drow? I still don't know what a drow is. Dark elves or are uh, dark skinned or white haired subrace of elves connected to the subterranean underdark. Okay. So drow are just elves of the underdark. Okay. Stupid to think we've outsmarted them. This will be my last entry. Mint keeps the records from now on. Okay. Read this other logbook, see if it's the same. Ah, okay. So this is the uh, earlier part of the story. Signs of life near the outpost. Intelligent. Clearly trying to hide. Still can't find mysterious shapes. They know how to cover their tracks. Possibly they are drow. Let them south. Rumors of a spectator there. Let the Underdark solve its own problems. What is a spectator? Mint saw statues down south shaped like drow. Spectators shouldn't do that. Either way, one less problem to worry about. One less problem to worry about. Nope. Um, use the bellows? Sure. Uh, potion of healing, I'll take that. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. Got a long road ahead. I love that this freaking... They've got the freaking oil barrel right here. Like, it's like they're asking me to explode this shit, you know? Let's use the lever. What happens if we walk out? I don't know. Let me quick save first. No traps, please. Minotaur is empty. Minotaurs look like little like pigs almost. They have like that's probably not the right word, but they have like horns. Am I gonna take damage out here? Yo! I should have fucking known him. Get out of there! Too much to bear. Oh my god. <laughs> Radiant damage every time. So we're blowing this shit up, but first. Probably a way to turn it off, but. We're just gonna blow that shit up first. Um. First things first, let's do a good old long rest. <laughs> We need to we need to sleep. We need to sleep. Oh. The air is heavy. Moisture drips down your forehead. Pain it's shoots because we're through in the your fingers. Underdark or moisture drips from your forehead, pain shoots through your fingers. I'm having something's affecting me. Your finger traces the arc of your lips. Wetness. Sweat, blood, and saliva mixed into one viscous liquid. Can you feel it crawling through you? Tendrils squirming in your chest, gripping your heart, piercing your belly, your bones popping, your flesh swelling. I can. I see it in you. I feel it in me. We are lost. I will be quick with my blade. First you, then the others, then myself. Your minds intertwine. You sense a touch of uncertainty, a touch of disgust. Laser, we only have this one night left to us. Let us first enjoy it. Come, cuddle me by the fire. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> surrender. Uh, the problem with this one is I, uh, 
advantage disadvantage here uh which would cancel out i get a plus one or i could just talk to you here situational advantage here we're just exhausted lower the blade before you do something foolish i wonder what triggered this i wonder if it's because we're so weak like in terms of hp do i have advantage on all of these conversations i do probably because she uh Probably because she approves of me. Imagine this line. Don't you see how far gone you are? Give me the blade. I'll make it quick. Give me a persuasion roll here. DC 15. I got a plus 7. Inspiration. 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 Oh my god. I can't use inspiration. I can. Oh, thank god. That's better. Jesus Christ. I've never seen such bad rolls. Oh, barely. Bah. I cannot trust my own mind. So it seems I must trust yours. Hey. I will wait. But know this. I am watching. If the sickness does not pass come dawn, I will end us all. I'm done. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. Oh no. I don't look very good. Battle heart? Mommy? Uh. <clears throat> I came just in time. You are transforming. What the fuck is happening this episode? Stop me. Stop me from transforming. You're a drow. Are you a chosen? Yes, you have. I saved you before. Are you the one who let me out of the thing? The eyes go what? This. Wow. And I'm here to save you again. Worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. Are you a paladin? I'll protect you. Paladin mommy, please cast protection of evil from evil and good on me. Uh I don't know who I can trust, but you you did save me, which is very interesting. But I'm gonna get up on my own. Independent. Good. I like it when you compliment me. We haven't much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you, but for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Hmm, interesting. God, her eyes. The hell is A that? Fight for the fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. Kind of sword art online. That, but only if you embrace your potential. She smoked way too much weed today. Look at how red her eyes are. I will be back. Wake now. You'll feel better. I promise.
I just wanted to go to camp so I could talk to Asterion real quick and flirt a little bit. Uh, holy cow. Embrace your potential? If you're going to word the quest that way, you better freaking believe I'm going to try it. Embrace your potential? I mean, that was awesome. Um, she was really cool. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know whether or not to trust her, but here's the thing. Gut instinct, which is all I really have, screamed, trust her. Trust her, wield the illithid power. She's protected me before. It might be a, a force I'm going to have to come to terms with eventually, but she's protected me before and hopefully uh, she will again. Man, that was interesting. Man, that was very interesting. We got along quite well, I think. Huh. Incredible cutscenes again, too. Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. Uh, did that happen to you as well? Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better was of Was yours me. a hot guy or was it the same this hot girl? This must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole, use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. Yeah, same. It seems like we can't escape this mess in the waking world or otherwise. Uh, you already know my biggest secrets. On that what note. What more can you ask? Tell me something about yourself besides Shar, besides Tadpoles. Marcus Every Star is true. I mean, I know originally I said this was a Rizless run of Baldur's Gate 3, but truly major problems plaguing Marcus Every Star's waking and dreaming life, and all he's interested in is flirting with, Sh with Shadowheart. What? Besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced. Aw, oh, snap. Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Likes night Is orchids. Is that the sort of thing you meant? Listen, a person tells you stuff like that, you write that shit down. Uh, You've never been swimming? It's nothing to laugh at. Save your questions if that's how you're going to react. I wasn't laughing. No. I can't. Quite literally, I mean. With my memories suppressed, I can't betray Shah's secrets. God. And I can't remember much of myself either. Red if flags. If I manage to return to Baldur's Red Gate and flags. fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Doesn't know who she is, and yet I'm still trying to love with her. Trying to fall in love with her. Of course. It is an act of faith not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. I'm going to call it an episode there. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, my God. Between Raphael, the dream warrior, uh, and, and we started this episode with incredible talks with all three companions. God, if I didn't love this game already, I'd be head over heels. I am head over heels. Thanks for watching. I need to go. My wife's home, and she wants to spend the rest of the evening with me, and it's not much evening left. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Until then... Don't forget to like or leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. Some crazy percentage of the people who watch these videos is not subscribed. So don't be afraid to do that either. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.